Hi there, RC Girl here. Today we have the Yeti Junior Can-Am Maverick X3 on my bench. This is the latest release from Axia Racing. It's their 118th scale side-by-side. -side. So this totally reminds me of bombing through the desert in Moab. It'd be perfect to tow with your trailer. Today we're gonna unbox it, go over some of the features, and then we're gonna trail test it outdoors. So stay tuned. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. Here you're gonna find RC reviews, tips and tricks, run videos, flight videos, and other things related to RC. So consider subscribing if you guys wanna see more in the future. I'm also gonna put my Facebook and my Instagram accounts below. I do a lot of behind the scenes stuff. Alrighty, so now let's unbox this thing. Looks like first we have our transmitter. We'll go over that in a second. Got our instructions packet and some tools and bits and bobs and some batteries for your transmitter. We'll put that aside for now. It's kind of a cool unboxing experience. It comes with this little diorama. There's a Yeti or abominable snowman on the back and it comes locked in with some zip ties. So let's cut those off. All right, so here we have it. Personally, I think it looks pretty mean. I think it's gonna be really cool to tow behind my 1 scale Defender. This is my first 1 18th scale RC. The little guys in here too, you can move their heads and also take them off. So if you're towing this, it's gonna look a little funny if you have two guys being towed behind your truck. So you can take their heads off, they unscrew. This body also has the tiniest body clips ever. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna lose these in like five minutes, but the body pops up like that and you can access all the electronics. I think that's kind of cool. I already soldered on some XT60 connectors. That's what I run on all my batteries, but it comes with EC3. It's powered by a 1300 milliamp NIMH battery. So one thing is that you do have to run NIMH only. You cannot run lipos in this. It says the ESC will blow up, it's hazardous. So don't run any lipos in this thing. That's one downside. I don't have a ton of these batteries. I think I also run this in my Gen 2 Barrage. So I do have a couple lying around, but otherwise make sure you stick to NIMH and get a couple extras. One interesting thing, they did try to save space in here. So the ESC and the receiver are one component. You're gonna need to use the STX2 transmitter. It is a spectrum receiver, so I tried to bind it to my DX5 Rugged, but unfortunately it only works with the transmitter provided. The ESC is waterproof, so if you splash water on it or run through puddles, it should be just fine. This is a Dynamite Taser 37 turn 380 size motor, so it's kind of a cute small motor, if you can call a motor cute. I also run a dynamite motor in my Gen 2 Barrage and have had no issues with it. So hopefully this holds up just fine as well. The battery tray is kind of cool too. You can run different size batteries and it has this little adjustable thing here. So if you have a smaller battery, you can make sure that it's not gonna be rolling around. One thing I was particularly worried about was the servo. A lot of the lower end cars come with plastic geared servos and those will strip out after one collision. So this is all metal gears. It's a high torque servo high torque for 118th scale anyways. Um, so yeah, it's gonna hopefully hold up to some crashes. The plastics on the chassis seem pretty durable. These little arm links are bendable, so hopefully that they can take an impact. One thing people were noting is that it has a solid rear axle, but it does have independent suspension on the front with these swing arms. And with these smaller ones, it's harder to get that realistic suspension feel, but we'll have to test that out on the trail. The shocks are oil filled. They are plastic bodied shocks, but they have this threading on the body. It does also have multiple shock mounting positions. You get three positions on the rear and it looks like two different positions on the front. So there's a little bit of tunability there. Wheels are a standard 12 millimeter hex. So you can change the wheel sizes if you want. They're pretty standard. And we're running Maxxis Bighorn tires. I run Maxxis tires on my mountain bike and they're amazing quality. So I don't expect anything less from their RC tires. Let's look at our spectrum transmitter now. This is the STX2 transmitter. One cool thing about this is that you can limit the throttle. It has a three position switch here. So you could have 100%, 75 or 50. So if you're handing this to a kid, you don't want them to smash into a curb because they have no throttle control. You can limit it to 50% and just not tell them that it's limited at all. That's gonna be a great feature for the kids that are learning. Then you have your standard throttle and steering trim. It looks like you can turn the throttle and steering rates up or down and also reverse the throttle or the steering. I don't know why you need to do that, but you have the option to if you want to. 
The charger it comes with is a USB charger. I think it charges at 0.5 amps. So it's gonna be kind of a slow charge. It's gonna take a couple hours, um, but these are a lot safer than LiPos for kids, especially if you are getting this for a younger one. These will be a lot safer than LiPos. You don't have to worry about them exploding and causing fires as much as you would with LiPo batteries. Then we have our instructions packet. This is very much written for the beginner RC person. So it goes over the name of all of the components, which is cool if you're still learning. And all of the parts are listed out by part number. So if you need to reorder something, that'll be super easy to find. Looks like it comes with a couple dog bones and some odds and ends, and then a little tea wrench. So who's the audience for this? I would say this is very much targeted for the beginner or the intro person looking to get into RC. This would be great for the kids and also someone that's looking to get a scale side by side to tow behind one of their one tenth scale rigs. I've been shopping around for trailers. I think it'd also be cool for people that wanna race these. If you got a couple with your friends racing them outside in your backyard, you can definitely have some fun in a small space or in your living room. <laughs> Enough talking, let's charge up our battery, let's take this outside and have some fun with it on the trail. Stay tuned. What I'm gonna install is the MyTrick RC SQ1 light kit, which comes with this SQ1 controller. With this controller, there's six different ports. Each of the ports is gonna control a different part of your lighting system. So either headlights, running lights, reverse lights, tail lights, and backfire. There's also a bunch of different modes. So you can toggle between the modes. So there's uh, blinking modes, there's all on, there's different brightness settings in some of them. So this is a great controller for a lot of different types of functions. I'll put a link in the description box below. My Tricker C has a ton of different light options, but for this build, I'm gonna use the spotlights. I don't know, I've been calling them light pods. Um, so I have two white ones and one red one. So I'm gonna put two white ones here on the front and I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna hang one red one from the hood here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ream a hole in the body and use this screw that fits in real nicely. And that should hold them on in place. Okay, let's get to the install.